I am going to assemble this get around ergonomic pet carrier. I got this for the cats. They've already torn this label off of it. So I figure let me just assemble this and they can use it as like a cat bed. The first thing I'm going to do is cut off all of these zip ties. And there's another one here. And I turn this over and I already cut off all of the zip ties. If there's any zip ties holding the bottom to the top, cut those off. So now I have the bottom piece and I have the top piece with the cover. I'm just gonna take the door off. So this is the top piece, this is the bottom piece, and what I want to do is I want to line up where the screws go, and it snaps together nicely. It fits together nicely. So then here on the door we have this little Ziploc bag. I'm going to cut this off. And in here we have the screws and the nuts, so I'm going to take those out. Cut open this bag with a pair of scissors. Make sure they're pretty sharp because my scissors are kind of dull and they just made a mess of this. And what I do is I lift this up and underneath each screw hole, if you feel underneath it, there's a little area that fits this nut perfectly. So I just need to put the nut into the area where it fits. And you could feel it go in and it lies flat and then and then I just put the screw on top and I take a Phillips head screwdriver and I screw it in while I'm holding the nut on the bottom. And as I screw it in, I will feel the screw going through the nut and then I'll move my finger over to provide space for it to do that and I will tighten the screw and that's how easy it is. This is what that area looks like from the bottom. Can you see the hexagon shape where the nut goes. I don't know if the camera's focusing. So now I just need to go around the edges and do the same thing with all the other screws. Now personally I wish that this came with some kind of clasp or bracket um, so you don't have to put the screws in. Like it would be some sort of brackets attached to the top and then there would be some something on the bottom that it would click to. So you would just kind of like push it down and be a really strong bracket to hold it in. And then when you want to take the top off, you just like push up the bracket and take it out. I think that would be the easiest thing. It would also provide maybe more of a lip. So if you're going to carry this, it'll provide something more to kind of like hold on to. But that's not how this was made. This was made with the screws. So that's what I am going to use. And these screws are different than the screws used in the rectangle shape pet mate carriers. Those are larger and those are easier to remove without a screwdriver. These definitely require a screwdriver to put in or take out. I had to make sure that this top was pushed down all the way and I also had to kind of bang it and push it in a little bit, but it's sturdy and it's working now. The way this works is the top goes on like this and you put that door hinge in and you put that door hinge in. You have to make sure that all the hinges are in, but it's really simple, quick and easy to do. And then you lift it up and you have a wonderful round cat carrier. It's really sturdy. I've been testing it out with the cats bringing some of them outside in it.
best way to carry this I have found is actually in front of you uh, by holding the handle and then putting another hand like underneath it or along the edge and then like walking with this in front of you if that makes any sense. It's a little bit awkward to walk with it next to you like you would with a suitcase for example because it's round but if you hold it up and walk in front of you that seems to be the best thing. Also the cat will look up out of the top and then they'll see you and it'll be like a reassurance for them that they're okay. Um, so that seems to have been working well. What I do with this is I take the top off and then I just leave this out as a cat bed. Here's the other one that I have and I have these round cat beds that a friend of mine makes for the cats and they just fit perfectly in this cat carrier, like absolute perfect fit. So I have this one in here and I actually saw one of the cats sitting in here. They weren't laying down, they were just sitting in here because it's new for them and you know, they're still getting used to it. They're still a little cautious of it, but that's what I'm gonna do with these. I'm gonna put cat beds in them. That way, if they need to go anywhere, they'll just jump in and these cat beds that I have are machine washable. They're amazing and I'm just really happy that this seems to be a good solution for a cat carrier. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.